Hello, this is Tom Dozier, and this is a tutorial on the Trigger Tamer. This will be how to create a trigger. So I'll press the Trigger Creator button, and I can give the trigger a name. I will call it Trigger 1. And next, I can give a description if I want to. I don't have to. I'm going to skip it this time. And now, I press Done, and now it gives me a choice of all of the songs that I have copied over from iTunes or that were originally loaded into, uh, into the app. So I can select, uh, here's one, Trigger uh, Sniff Dry, and I press, I'm going to go ahead and give that a, a description of Sniff. And I'm going to press Done, and that will save it. And now if I go to select a trigger, I now have a trigger one, which has a description of sniff, and the demo trigger, which is a, a bell telephone. Press done. And that's how you can create a trigger if it, the file is already in the app directory. Now, if I want to create a trigger, and when I go uh, to my directory here, I don't have it in my directory, but I have it in my iTunes. Then what I have to do is to copy it over. I can only copy over from the playlist creator. Playlist plus, go to iTunes, and in iTunes, I, you can have the trigger loaded into iTunes. Here's some that is like bass through the wall. So bass, let's copy these to bass 1A and bass 1B. Done, and we can see it's copying over, and if it's a long copy, you can just touch the screen to keep it from going to sleep. Now, uh, I don't really want to create a playlist, so I'm going to go back. If I hit Done, it'll say, ah, oh, you have to give it a name. Well, I haven't given it a name because I don't want to make it a playlist. So I press Back, and now I can press Trigger Creator. I can give it a name. I'm going to call it Base. And I'm going to make this as number one. Done. And now I can select uh, base one. Uh, notice these are not in alphabetical order, which is a bug that we want to fix. Uh, I'm going to press done. And now if I go to my trigger list, there's my base with a description of one. And I can select it. So that's a demonstration of creating a trigger from files that are already uh, load it into the app directory or copying files over from the uh, your iTunes directory. So this is Tom Dozier. I appreciate you watching this demo. And uh, there will be a few other demos on how to, especially how to give a treatment and set our settings. Thank you very much.